Oh my god, there's a mosquito in my car. What is going on? Oh girl, the devil is a lie. Hey y'all, welcome to this week's weekly vlog. Finally, I'm starting this vlog. Oh my God. Girl, I'm giving very much 2005 with this bra popping out. Like, I don't <laughs> Cover it up, girl. And it's a Victoria's Secret bra. That is too much. How are y'all doing today? Hopefully you're doing well. It is 10 o'clock at night. <laughs> well, I actually have been filming and editing today so my goal today was to get out of the house and i told my husband i was like i'm getting out of the house i'm gonna get myself together and i'm going somewhere where did i go nowhere and i'm not mad about it because it was a little bit rainy today but i did want to get out we will be getting out tomorrow i'm gonna get myself ready and we're gonna get out the house i'm gonna give myself a little grown people field trip or something like i need to give myself something to do because i just be in the house tooling around and next thing you know it's dark and it's time to go to bed and what did I do? I don't know if y'all can see my satin pillowcase. Hopefully you can't because it look a mess. I shouldn't have got a white satin pillowcase. I don't even know why I did that. I have no idea. But y'all see this hair on my head. Look at how stunning it is. It is absolutely gorgeous. It looks like it should be growing out of my scalp. But you know what? The Lord did not bless me with a lot of natural hair. So we gonna fake it. Let's go ahead and get into this hair. I wanna say thank you to Y Wigs for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this portion of this vlog because look at her, look at her. Like, look at that texture. I'm gonna give you more details on this wig. This is definitely a closure wig. It is a kinky, curly, natural textured wig. So perfect to throw on and punch it out the door and no one will even know that it's not your hair. So if you wanna get more information on this wig, please keep on watching and I'll be back and hopefully I'm doing something. So your beautiful wig is gonna come in the Y Wigs box. And of course, this is what it looks like straight out of the box. We're gonna try it on because I want y'all to see what she looks like. So this wig is the Amber. Her name is Amber Bang Kinky Curly Wig. It's a five by five lace closure. It's 18 inches long and 150% density. So y'all know, since this is a kinky curly wig, I have to define the curls using my favorite little system using the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Frizz Free Curl Mousse to define those curls. Then I'm gonna dry it under the dryer and we have to do a little lace tint because the lace was a little bit light. And that's it. After this, we continue to apply it, make it super duper easy. This wig didn't take a lot. I didn't have to pluck her. The knots were already bleached. All I had to do was lay down these edges, do the little fake baby hair method I like to do. And baby, that's it. Plop her on down. You can wear glueless or you can wear her as, you know, with the spray. I forgot what I was saying, child. <laughs> you can wear it with the spray just to lay her down. But we're just going to do a little bit of customizing. Also, while you're vibing out, I want y'all to see that there is a coupon code for this wig. I will leave the coupon code down below. The coupon code for this wig is AM15 for 15% off. So go ahead and check that out. Make sure you check the links in the description box for this wig. And of course, the coupon code. Once again, I want to say thank you two Y wigs for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this portion of the vlog. Now let's listen to some music and then we'll be back. All I wanna hear is in the visions on replay. Someone next to you. You I try not to show how I feel about you. You wish you way. But we don't really want to I just wanna get away. And sit right next to you. You I don't wanna kiss you. Yeah, I just wanna feel you. afternoon everybody is it afternoon i think it's still morning oh my god it's morning good morning everybody today is saturday january 28th and 
I'm in the car, so y'all know my husband's getting his hair cut. So you know what that means. We're going to uh, the outlets. I was about to say the warehouse. The outlets today. So um, I'm just waiting for him to get done. He's getting his hair cut now. I'm having my strawberry protein smoothie. I, I drink a strawberry protein smoothie sometimes in the morning if I don't want to like eat too much. And sometimes I'll have it with toast. But it's like a really quick breakfast and it's really good. Mm. It's really good. I think I just ate my chapstick. <laughs> I don't know if my lace is lacing right now. Um, What was I going to say? So yes, we're going to the outlets today. I need to go pick up some more skincare stuff. I want to see if I can get some travel skincare stuff. Like little mini things. Hopefully I can get that there. If not, I'm going to order this Tatcha set off Amazon. I told y'all I'm getting my travel kit ready. Now, I was supposed to vlog yesterday, but I had a doctor's appointment because I had a pain, like, I wouldn't say in my chest. It's like at the crest of my rib bone, and it's been there for a while. Like, I only feel it when I press it, but it's, like, weird. So, went to the doctor yesterday, and, um, and I have back pain as well. So, she diagnose me with generalized anxiety disorder now i think she can diagnose me but i do want to go to a psychologist to get formally diagnosed but she gave me like a little survey she gave me a little survey and had me write on stuff like <laughs> to be honest with you okay so this is what happened so i have this pain in my back and i've had aches for a while because i tense up my body due to being anxious actually let me put y'all up in the, i'm gonna put y'all up in the mouth and finish the story okay let me actually close should i close that because i don't even know if y'all can see me i'm probably gonna because i think the lighting will be better if i close it okay let me open this back up So, anyways, girl, I need to quit calling the sun lighting because it is the sun. It's the main girl. It is the light. Okay. Zoom in. Zoom it out. Whatever. I can't even get it together. So, anyways, <gasps> I dropped my purse. Yeah, so I went to the doctor yesterday and I went to my primary, like my actual primary doctor. I've been to her one other time before. I like her. Um, she told me that I have generalized anxiety disorder and based off of what she's seen and she thinks that some of my body aches come from me being anxious but also um, she diagnosed me with something that starts with a C and she said it happens when you turn 35 they don't know why what causes it but it's like and she diagnosed me with GERD gastrointestinal but see, my acid reflux has gotten much, much better. I have made some dietary changes. I don't eat spicy foods anymore. And if you know me, girl, I put cayenne pepper in everything. I love spice. Spice is my little, little, little name. <laughs> I was trying to be cute. <laughs> now I didn't get it out. It's been tough not having spice, but my stomach likes it so much better. Um, I'm eating more fiber. Taking my bell away. I actually need to take my bell weight today. It actually helped a lot, but I need to take it when I get back home. Taking my bell weight, taking oil of oregano, like I've been changing up my diet and my stomach has been great. Plus we're not drinking this weekend, we're doing like a dry weekend, so. How did that even happen? I thought it was because of my posture and how I sit at a computer, but she was saying like, could be that, it could be anything. They really never know the cause of it. It just happens. At 35. She says, you're at the perfect age, 35. Well, I said, well, thanks. Thanks. So that's what's going on with me. What's going on with you? <laughs> Anyways, we're going to do some retail therapy. I really want to go to the premium outlets. But, um, girl, these mats need to be cleaned. I really want to go to the premium outlets. But, um... The premium outlets are the other way because they have like a Gucci and a Burberry there. And I don't own anything Gucci, I don't think. No. So I want to see what they got. 
But baby, if it's more than a hundred dollars, I don't want it. <laughs> We're gonna go by Coach. I need to see if they have any other bags. Bags. Packing his bag. Unpacking his bag. I'm gonna get some more skincare stuff because I need to get some micellar water. But I really want travel size skincare. Like really, really bad. So makeup. I need lip gloss. Dang, I think I needed my walnut skin. I need some more of that Bobbi Brown stick foundation. I just hope it's not packed over there, but I think it will be. So, mm. so I'm just excited to go shopping. It is cold out. And that makes my back hurt worse because I tensed up. I'm just ready to get into some heat because my back is <clears throat> backing. <laughs> My wig today ain't wigging because I was rushing. So I don't feel too cute. I really don't. But my outfit, actually my outfit is cute. I have on my, this Amazon uh, quarter zip top that I wore. I keep wearing this stuff. I don't know what it is. I buy something and I just wear it over and over again. So that's just what it is. And I got, I got on a, um, it's cold out so I don't really be knowing what to wear. Um, I have on the Amazon quarter zip with the drawstring and I have on my, uh, oh, my hands. Oh, my hands, my nails aren't done. Oh my God. I have on my Naked Wardrobe bodysuit. It's thick, so it's really, really warm. And I got on them same Nikes. We're going by the Nike, um, we're going by the Nike place too because I'm getting some more Nikes. I love these Air. Like, I love these shoes, so I'm, I'm gonna get some more of those at the outlet. And, yeah. Y'all have seen me at the outlet so many times. Like, that's the only place I feel comfortable shopping. Like, I pick up things and buy stuff. Like, but if I have to go to Nordstrom, it's just overwhelming for me. And I don't even know why. But, like, at Coach... Like, the stuff is right there. Like, I know I like all the coaches' bags. All I have to do is walk in and just, like, pick it up and then just punch it. Nike, the shoes are right there. Pick up the shoes. When it gets to clothes, that's when I'm like, girl, get me out of here. Because then I got to try on stuff. And if I got to try on stuff, that's too much effort. You really can't see me. But I'll see y'all in a sec. Hopefully, I don't look a fool. I feel like I do, though. Whatever. Y'all know me. We friends. <laughs> I should have just had the camera turned this way. The lighting is so much better. But um, they say even without medication, that uh, ache that I have right here goes away on its own. Um, I would prefer it goes away on its own because me and medication ain't, ain't friends. Um, I want to start doing like yoga or something to like stretch my body out. Um... I don't know. I feel like I need to do something. I go to the gym like once a week. I was supposed to go to the gym today. I could go later today since we're not drinking at all. I don't like to drink and work out. So um, I probably could go later today. Maybe I could do that. I don't know. Y'all tell me. But yeah. Oh yeah. And I wanted to thank y'all for your comments. Because I was talking about um, my fashion sense. <laughs> in the last vlog and I think I'm just like uncomfortable I don't know what it is and I remember my mom going through this um at this time she's pretty um, there's like <clears throat> a weird phase that I'm in now where I'm 35 right I'm moving out of my whole phase or the phase where oh she's so pretty Stunning. Um, stunning. Stunning. This is stunning. <laughs> Let me get out of people's business. Okay, so I have like a fashion. My ADD is like out of control. Okay, take it a second. Take a second. Take a second. Take a second. When I, when I was in my 20s, I knew what my style was. It was like bodycon, all that type of stuff. Now that I'm in my 30s, I literally don't desire to look like thotty. Even though that was a desire for me like back then, I don't desire to be like to give like let everything out cities out legs out there was like a phase where I loved it and I get it like it was cute but now um I don't like that anymore so it's like 
I don't know what to do anymore. And since I was working in corporate for so long, my corporate outfits were more conservative. Even though it was a little bit, they had a little bit of, you know what I'm saying, there was a little bit. I was one for a real tight dress everywhere I went. But now I, I want to like do something different and I don't know what to do. And since I still work from home, like I don't really go uh, anywhere. Like we go out on dates and stuff like that, but I'm working from home a lot. I like, I'm trying to figure out what my casual outfits look like, like brunch outfit. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. So trying to find my style and I like a lot of things. I just need to figure out like what I like. Cause I want like an identifiable, like that's my style. That's me. Even y'all like, like as a brand, I want y'all, I, I would love for y'all to look at something and be like, oh, Amira, this looks like you. I don't even know if y'all can say that. Can y'all say that? Like, y'all don't even know what look like me. Yeah, girl, I'm trying to figure that out. Like, what's my style? I want to find a fashion sense. Like, my husband has great, like, he has a style. Like, I know I can look at something and be like, oh, no, my husband would love that. Anyways, my nails aren't done. Nothing's done. Toes not done. Lashes is falling off. I'm trying to just... I don't even know what I'm talking about. I was about to say something, but it made no sense. I do that all the time. I think what I was trying to say is that I, I want to, I'm trying to give my nails a break and I want to give my eyelashes a break. So I'm going to let these fall off. <laughs> okay. So we are in Marietta. My husband just got his hair cut. We're supposed to be going to the outlets, but this car needs to be washed. When I tell you it's not, it, we haven't cleaned it since November. Um, it needs to be cleaned, but we don't know uh, what this place is talking about. Now they have, it looks like they clean the cars really well, but it's at a gas station. Number so. two is our speed. What's number two? Um, wash car, rims, full detail. Wax, stuff like that. Doesn't look like it'll take too long, so. We were okay. here, so it's, it's only nice. that stuff that freaks you out. Yes. It's great. What makes your skin dry out? That's why I used to tell them at school, like, why are you so ashy? Ah, oh, it's my water. My water's real dry. Stuff. Why are you doing all that? We got the outside wash. We we're gonna go to this other car wash that I showed y'all to get the interior wash, but interior and exterior, but whatever. I, I don't like those drive throughs because I also think they scratch a car, but I don't know if they scratch a car. I just heard that. Who did you hear that from? Yourself. Interesting. <laughs> Some of that. Arrow. You're hot? A little bit. We're at the outlets. We finally made it. We got the car washed and it looks okay. But now my car looks <laughs> a little blue because I use like some blue stuff on it. I feel like it looks more blue than it usually does. So, but anywho, we're at the same outlets. It's the Ridge Walk. We still got to do that uh, luxury outlet or that uh, designer outlet. That's what I told them in the car. I wanted to do it. I want to do the um uh, I have no clue where that is. So. Yeah, it's it's further than this. We're headed in. Where are we going? So Nike? Coach. Uh, let's go to Coach first. And then we'll go to Nike. Coach, Nike, and I gotta go to the cosmetic store. Yeah. And then we're done. Yep. In and out. 
How many bags you got? Three. Since Let's see them. You said what? That's it, three. Yeah. Oh, they got a um. Oh, we got that. It's a um. Fanny pack. Fanny pack. You want a fanny? You gonna scratch it? Yeah. You gonna wait until you get in the car where it doesn't mean anything? <laughs> I know. I'm joking. I need a coat. I need something to scratch it with. Huh? Yeah, everything figured out. I'm gonna go scratch it. Oh, okay. We just got back from shopping. It was shopping is so exhausting. Yeah, it's a lot of stuff. Went to CCS and I met um Courtney. Courtney, Courtney was so sweet. sweet. She said that she watched the channel. So hi, Courtney. She was really, really nice. Um, and she gave us a little um, free, like five dollar um, scratch off gift. scratch off card. Everybody <clears throat> in the store got one, so you're able to like get one gift. I got so much stuff. Uh, I only spent. We only spent what one twenty. I'm not sure. Should I put the GPS in for going home or? Like, I don't even know why people in that store, like, they be doing the most. Like, that lady that kept, like, she was she like. She popped up behind me like uh, a shadow. She walked in front of me. And I was thinking, like, you do you know where, <laughs> like, you don't even say excuse me. It's still close quarters, but everybody's always nice in the CCS. If you do not like to spend a lot of money on makeup, I always say you should go to the CC, oh, CCS, whatever you call it, cosmetic company store, so it's CCS. She's on my shoulder like dangerous. Man. She was right behind you. Freaked you... me out a little bit. I was like, ah, we good? <laughs> This lace, mm -hmm. we just finished eating at uh, Panda Express. We just went to the restroom. We're about to head head to Lennox Mall. Right now we're in Kennesaw. Let's see how far it is. The wig looks okay. It's just the lace is just like frayed. So I don't know what's going on. Let's see what. Ooh, 43 minutes. 43 minutes to get down to Women's Mall. Then we'll probably go to the grocery store, go back home. I did want to go to the gym, but I guess I'm not. But I think tomorrow I'm doing a, I'm gonna film a, um, like a healthy, like a health vlog fitness vlog or something but with like working out no i've been terrible so bad anyways the rims look okay it's an okay wash yeah, won't get a, a real wash yeah right <laughs> mm -hmm. but it looks it looks nice it's clean why'd i make that face hey on our way to lytic small Hey y'all, we're back home. I don't know if I look tired, but baby. Oh my God, I'm so tired. And I have a headache because of sinuses. If you live in Georgia, it's just what it is. I'm gonna show y'all everything I got. But first, I need to take some Bellway. Because I haven't taken my Bellway today. This isn't sponsored. <laughs> just take it by Bellway. Shopping was fun. Oh, it's just my sinuses, bro. Like what is going on and i don't know why i've been saying bro lately like how old am i but shopping was so much fun i saw chanel we went to ralph Lauren, so we saw chanel there my husband got ordered a shirt but anyways i'm gonna show you all after i drink this because you got to drink it all at one time it's so filling too oh my god like, i'd be full after having I got this um, bottle from Target and it's like, it's really cute, but it's like cheap. I got it from the $5 section, obviously, or the dollar section, whatever section it was. I 
I like this one. This one's good. I put a lot of water in mine because it digests better. But it's good. It tastes like a flavored water. But right now it's like. Soak out. Where's the top to this? Uh, do I have to drink this too? Put the top on it. I want to drink it right now. Oh, I'm full. Right now it is 7:25. But I want to show y'all everything that I got full from um, the outlet shops. Got some socks. I actually have on the socks right now from Lucky Bro. Oh, they're like dusty they're getting dust on everything they're really really soft i got the like tan pair and i wore it with my outfit my outfit was like actually cute today i'll show y'all what i was wearing so i wore these socks and i have the burgundy type they're really cozy from lucky they're originally like 20 something dollars i think i got them for how much nine dollars and i got some jeans i've been wanting I told y'all, I'm trying to get out of skinny jeans because the girls is saying skinny jeans is old. I told my sister that. I was like, the girls are saying skinny jeans is for the old girls. And she was like, what? <laughs> She's like, well, baby, I don't wear my skinny jeans. I said, I know that's right. I'm trying to be like trendy. These look a little bit big though. I got a size three. So I guess we'll see. So they're like, I'll try these on. For y'all, I tried them on over this onesie. So I don't know if they're gonna actually fit when I actually put my my body in it without these. But these are compression too, so maybe, I don't know. So that was everything from them. Let's see. Ooh, I got some coach bags. I'll have to go through the makeup in a second because I don't even know what I grabbed. I guess I'll go through now. What did I even grab, y'all? For makeup, I wonder if I should go in my office. I guess I can do it right here. Like, this is cute, right? I probably should close my, I'll probably go over here. So, put this right Yeah. Oh, not the, yes, our Christmas tree is still up and it's February, almost February. I really want this Christmas tree to be out of the frame because y'all think I'm crazy. <laughs> y'all really do. Get out the frame, grub. Okay, so. Okay, that's better. Okay, so what else? From the CC, like when I tell you the CCS is worth it, I got how many items? Shout out to Courtney, she was so sweet. I got one, two, three, four, one. 22 items for $173. And these are not drugstore items. It's $173. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So I got a free gift with purchase. It was like stuff that I already use and I love. I think it was these three things. No. It was this. So because I bought all of that stuff, they also gave me like a few other things for free. So they gave me this big old micro essence, which I already use. I already have like a, not a travel size one, but a, like a smaller one. And I bought another one today, it's half the size of this. It was 2.5, this was five ounces, five ounces of the micro essence. If you haven't tried this, amazing. I'm gonna do the skincare routine with this. Estee Lauder, Advanced Night Repair, Eye Concentrate Matrix, amazing. I think this is like $70 for free. Bro. And I already got, I think I bought another one here i always stock up on those and i got um i have a full one in there that i'm using now and they gave me the plant origins plant scription anti-aging cleanser i never used their um cleanser but i loved origins so <clears throat> we got all that stuff like i said speaking of origins if y'all see my hands and they ashy we've been sanitizing all day i don't know what to do um I told y'all I wanted to build up my travel kit. So like basically I do not, <clears throat> I don't want to spend money on nothing when it comes to traveling. Like I don't want to put things into travel containers. I want to have like my travel stuff. So I bought two of these travel kits for Origins. I already used this stuff and I was about to buy a Tarte kit, but I was like, you know what? 
my skin loves origins i need to use tart but they have like the soothing lotion i already used this fortify emulsion moisturizer and they have the micellar water so that's everything that i use so i bought two of them because they're really small Let's see but it's perfect for a travel kit and i wonder how much these were like all three of these in like a little travel kit so cute what is on my eye oh that's why my eye was itching yep 11.97 for my little travel kit and i got two of them so i never am run out of these when i'm traveling i got my micro essence i think the micro essence is originally nothing was more than i'm just gonna tell y'all now everything the most expensive thing in here is 18 dollars when i tell you this micro essence is amazing estee lauder has great skincare like great skincare i got the mini better than sex mascara i'm gonna use this on vacation i'm just gonna put that in my vacation kit for my lower lash line um i got another estee lauder estee lauder advanced night repair eye matrix concentrate perfect for under the eyes and moisturizing under the eyes make sure you don't get any wrinkles let's see any more skincare stuff i think that's all my skincare um as far as like foundations i got another bobby brown skin longwear weightless foundation and with um sunscreen it's like a really light foundation i don't know if this is the right color i just picked it up but i can mix it with other foundations it's just an amazing skin like foundation and i love the bobby brown stick foundation this one's in warm walnut i don't know if it's the same as walnut skin but that's my bronzer color i think that was correct um let's see oh i got let's see i got three lip injection extreme lip glosses and pink punch y'all know this is like I wear this lip gloss now it makes my lips really pink and it like plumps my lips so i got three of them and they were five dollars each one of them was free so because we did that little scratch off thing so all three of these together was ten dollars <laughs> what i got a brow shaper hopefully i got the right color i got espresso um a brow shaper and filler this is the sculpting control waterproof 36 hour is my husband calling me? It's the 36 hour brow filler. So I don't know what this is about. I don't know what this is like. Let me see. I didn't even open it. I just picked it up. Oh, okay. Too Faced. Is it? Girl, roll up. Okay, so it's like a nice, like, ashy brown color so that works for me i need a new brow pencil let's see what else did i get what is this i did not buy this <laughs> did i get a waterproof eyeliner i don't remember getting this oh girl i was just picking up stuff a liquid last 24 hour waterproof liner i literally did not put this i literally did not buy this they just put this in here I mean, it's pretty though. It's a waterproof golden liquid eyeliner. You see? What am, I, what am I gonna do with this? I'm not that girl, but maybe I can be that girl. Oh, like I can do an eyeliner, but I can do like a gold top line. That may be cute. It's waterproof though. I don't like that. I mean, maybe for my eyebrows, but like. Mm -mm. So next I got a bronzing powder. So I've never used a bronzing powder, like ever. I've never had a bronzer work for my skin tone. So I got the Bobbi Brown bronzing powder in deep four and I really want a bronzer. Like I really don't be having bronzers like that. So I hope this one works because ma'am, let me see. I tried it on my fingers while I was there, but this is the tone. A lot of bronzers look lighter in the container. So I'm hoping I got it in the color deep like can you see it you can't even see it so i don't know if it's gonna work but when i tried it i was like will this work girls is probably my same skin tone whatever i can just use it to set my actual bronzer because it's not you know like we'll see 
my face is lighter, lighter than the rest of my body, so I guess we'll see. And I got another MAC Studio Fix Perfecting Powder, and I got this in the color Deep. I already have this color, but I love setting um, the warm parts of my face, the outsides of my face, with this powder. It's like a loose powder. Okay, and then I got some, oh yeah, it's everything. And then I got some travel stuff. I need to wipe my hands off. Got some, tr like this little travel bag. So if you put six items in here, then you only pay $15. So I did that. And I got some travel lip injection extreme lip gloss. This one I got for, um, yeah, I got it for $15. It's, uh, everything was $15. I got a travel um, born this way, 24 hour foundation. It's really, really tiny, but you can keep it in your bag for certain days. And I actually have another one of these, but it's in my, it's in my skin tone chai. Like it's a little bit redder than my skin tone, but y'all know I don't care about that. <laughs> Girl, if I'm red, I'm red. I got a Tom Ford Rose Prick travel size, well, tra sample, um, sample perfume. I figure I can take this when I'm traveling too, like, or what? Oh, baby, this is pretty. Oh, that is. Oh, that is so pretty. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Oh, I get it. I get it. I see why the girls buy Tom Ford. I got a Clinique Moisture Surge Hydrating Lotion. My husband actually uses this sometimes when his skin gets dry. So. Or does he use this? I don't even know what this is. I've never, I've never tried this. I don't even know why I got it. And I got another, oh, a soothing treatment lotion. Like, look how tiny this is. It's so cute. Ah, look how adorable that is. I love that. And I got a Joe Malone perfume. I love Joe Malone. Oh, let me see. I put it on the back of my hand to see what it smells like. This one is... Just says Joe Malone London. I don't know who what scent this is. Wow. Oh. Oh, that's delicious. Oh, this is fantastic. This is going with me too. Oh my god, that's great. Okay. So that's all of that stuff. My little travel size stuff. And like I said, all of that foundations, everything was 173 Zoilas. When? <laughs> when? We make these trips out there like every like month, every couple months, like every two months we'll go and we'll pick up everything that we need and I don't have to shop for anything. Only thing I need is a big micellar water for the house and then that's it. But other than that, it's everything. And I like to use micellar water with a little bit of water in the morning when I'm washing my face. So on vacation, like I don't have to worry about nothing. That's that one that. So good purchase. Oh my God. That Joe Malone. The Tom Ford is, oh, when it dries down, it's like sweet. Oh, the girls, I see why y'all flip out over Tom Ford. I'm looking like, why y'all like him so much? He's not even at, you know what I'm saying? But it's actually, it's actually cute. Okay, now for the bag. <laughs> now for the bag. So, we got some bags. <laughs> we went to Coach, and girl, they just be throwing the bags in here. They really do. They don't care. So, I got three bags. And it's my husband's birthday month, so I got like an extra discount on the bags. But one of the bags was this one. I wanted a black bag. Black bag. This bag is a, what is this called? This is the X Grain Katie Satchel. I don't know how much this one was but it's like a nice size i'm wanting bags that i can put my camera in my vlogging camera i want to take y'all with me but i hate carrying it it's just like an eyesore and it kind of brings attention to you to have a camera just carrying it around like it's weird so i like to be able to put it in my bag this bag is super cute it opens wide let's see what it looks like on the inside i love a good interior girl it's just black it's black it comes with a a strap but that's what it looks like on the inside. So cute, girl. I got a whole coach bag collection. 
Coach bags, I don't know why the girls be sleeping on Coach. They're really good bags. They last for a long time. Like that green one, I've overworn that. Oh, this bag right here. Oh, this one is cute. I don't like this little carriage thing right here. I don't like that. But the actual bag is cute. This is the Croc Grace CY. What's CY mean? But look at this one. Oh, it's so cute. I just think it's a cute bag to carry. And I feel like this one's gonna go with me. Like this is like a good out of town bag. It's a good neutral color. So you can wear it with a whole bunch of stuff without feeling like you gotta change your bag over and over again. So I think this one is cute. This one, um, I don't think it's as forgiving with carrying stuff. It's wide on the inside though. Like you can't see that because all the stuffing is in there. I don't be liking to take my stuffing out, but I'll take it out. What is this one? Actually, it's pretty deep though. You see that? I wonder if y'all can fit in here. Can I put y'all in the bag? But it's so cute and I love a good sturdy bag. And if it has like the little feet on here, yes, yes, yes. I gotta be careful with these zippers because these zippers will cut you. Okay, and the last bag I got was this one. Now I was still on the fence with this one. <laughs> like when I looked at it, I was like, huh, 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 huh. But look at this one. What do y'all think? It reminds me of the bags we used to carry like back when I was in high school. I'm still like. So in high school? What like this hardware like on the sides like, down here? Mm. You know what I'm talking about. Right? I know what you're saying. I just don't think for a high school bag. Yeah. I'm not saying yeah. <laughs> not. This is like a lot of space though. The one thing I do love about this bag is that it's a whole bunch of space. So I can carry, the way I have filled up that green coach bag that I wear everywhere is ridiculous. I actually need to switch out the bags, probably to this one for now. Yeah, you just switch out that one. Yeah, because I wear this one too much. But I wear this as, this one every day and not a scratch, nothing. Like it's, it's hard to mess up these coach bags. Like I feel like you got to be really, you know, like negligent. But this bag has, it comes with the strap, but ain't nobody wearing that. Strap. <laughs> That's a lot of, oh, this is big. That's what she said. Look at how big this bag is. That's deep. Deep. <laughs> you hand me that the laptop, please. Let me push the game a little bit until I finish this. Love you. Better, better me. Oh, my back does not hurt as much. It's being cold. Yeah. Oh. Gotta do it. Yeah, that'll do it. Yeah, but what do y'all think? Like, it's the color is nice. It actually matches like the top I have on now, but it's like different. Maybe if I when I carry it around, you know, I like it. Now they did have a black one, but I don't be liking their black bags like that. Like this one, like in black, it looked cheap. It looked corny. I feel like if they did like well, they didn't have uh, they, had the same, this. they didn't have the gun metal like that, that yeah and black yeah, yeah cuz otherwise I would have got this one in black but they, they had didn't that type of yeah gun metal like that that the look of it black oh it would have been nice silver steelers yeah that is slick but the way it looked was like gaudy it was too gaudy yeah that's what it was i think the contrast between the black and the gold just wasn't it wasn't doing it so I'm gonna transfer my stuff in here now so I can get there. You go, yeah. <laughs> now, my husband got some shoes as well. He got um, two pairs of shoes, two Kyrie's from the Nike outlet. I looked at some shoes, it was just it was crazy busy in there. It's so tight in those outlet stores, it's like you just be wanting to get out of there. So, I was planning on vlogging in there, but I was just like, girl, why do I have this lace bond spray? with me like what's going on girl that don't need to be in there that Joe Malone that Tom Ford is really good I think I think I want to go back and get the Tom Ford because that Tom Ford is oh my god <sighs> that Tom Ford smells so good they know they they know they're gonna what they did that so good Oh, I got hand sanitizer, who knew? So 
So I'm gonna switch out everything. Y'all tell me which bag you like the best between the three. Between these three, I think, I don't know. I think this one's my favorite. I love a good structured bag, so I go with that. But I'll put those away. But in the meantime, this is gonna be my daily carrier. Like, because I can fit everything in it. Lip liners, lipstick, right. My dental things, Invisalign things. City, my Invisalign. Oh, I'm going to do a, um, a Invisalign essentials. I've been doing Invisalign for two years and I can tell you what you need for your Invisalign. So I'm planning, I plan on doing that soon. Let me throw out all this stuff. Do you ever look through your purse and think like, what, why? Why? Uh, I'll show y'all what it looks like fully and probably with my outfit because it was it would have matched this outfit if I wore it today. So we throw away all this stuff and all this stuff in here. Okay, so let me go ahead and show y'all what I was wearing today. I actually liked my outfit today. Like I thought it was super duper cute. I didn't like the socks at first. Like the, I had on ankle socks. But this is what I have on. Like, can you see? I don't think you can see. Like, isn't this cute? This is like a naked wardrobe um, one piece with my little high socks. I'm trying to be youthful. These socks and my shoes. And this. I felt like it was cute. But maybe it wasn't as cute as I thought it was. I'm straight from 1982, like what? <laughs> yeah, I think that's cute. I felt like it was cute. I felt like it was warm, it was cozy. I was like actually hot today. If I wore it with this bag, it would have been really cute. But I felt like, I felt like youthful with the little socks because I see the young girls wearing these socks. So, but with this bag, this is what the bag looks like with my stuff in it. And look at, look at all that space. And once I put my camera in there, girl, yes. I think this bag was like one something. But it's a it's like a good leather bag. I actually like it. Okay. 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 Let's show off the bag. See if I like it with the outfit. Because if I wore it with this today, yeah. it's shoes. The he ties. got what are those? The carries. Yeah, I was gonna vlog inside of Nike, but it was just way too, it was too much. Yeah. I couldn't even. And then I got these. <clears throat> oh, those, I forgot about those. I don't know why I forgot about them. These ones, I wish they had those, like those in women's shoes or in case. Those are really nice, like casual. Those are running shoes. Damn, put the tag out, the tag out. It's a good casual shoe. Yeah, you try them on. Yeah. Ugh. I think they look really nice with them. Um, like a casual outfit. Okay, so this is what the jeans looks like. Uh, <laughs> with the heels on, I'm like, I don't know. And my husband that, you know, now, the girls are saying the skinny jeans is not the thing, but the top, the way they fit, so cute. Like, I like how they fit. In the back, I like how Lucky Jeans fit. So they need to be taken in in the waist, like a tad bit. But like at the bottom, like why they look like that? Like I look like a country singer. That's what it feels like, a country singer. Yeah, like you should be going to like Woodstock. <laughs> like, but these are boot cuts. These aren't bell bottoms, huh? That's bad. I like them. I just have to get used to them. That tree needs to go. It's an eyesore. The jeans are cute though. These are the Lucky High Cut, High Rise Boot Cut Uni. I like how they made my booty look though. I really do. Anyways, I need to jump in the shower, take off this wig, and oh, I need to put my Invisalign back in because my head hurts when I take my Invisalign out. So, um, I guess I'll see y'all in a second. Did I tell y'all where this wig is from? It's from Wiggins Hair. 
Um, I'll leave a link to the review that I did down below so you can check out the wig, see if you like it, see what it looks like out of the box, all that type of stuff. I wear this wig all the time, so much that the uh, lace is frayed. Like, I don't even, girl, it's fraying now. But anyways, oh, oh get this tower. Oh my God. And I'll see y'all, I don't know if I'll see y'all afterwards because we're gonna be cooking pasta for dinner. So maybe I'll see you after, after I get myself together. So second, I need to put some nails. On. Good morning, everybody, or good afternoon. I think it's like afternoon, maybe like noon. This is what I'm looking like. <laughs> I don't know why, like when I get on camera, I feel like I need to be looking like different, but this girl, this is my face. Put on some chapstick. So, I got half my braids in from last night after doing my wig review. And today, I'm gonna get myself ready and we're leaving the house. It is real gray outside, but that's okay. Um, today, I'm just planning on getting out of the house, editing this vlog, and what else? Probably looking for some home decor stuff. We're finally going to take down that tree. I've been talking about taking down this tree for the past few months and it's ridiculous. Like, not a few months, but it is almost February. Tomorrow will be February. And that tree is still up. So, we get to take that down and I need to order some stuff on Amazon. I feel like my hair is thin, but I keep cutting it and it's healthy, so... I'm gonna get myself together. First, I'm gonna have breakfast. Then we're gonna get ourselves together for the rest of the day. The office is a mess because I was home yesterday. Let me change up this trap a lot. I need to clean the office. I need to clean that grout because we cooked dinner. Can you actually see? You can kind of see it forming. First, tea. Planning. Get myself together. Get out of here. Get out. Vlogging. It's about to die. Hey y'all, so I am at Nordstrom. Can you see? I'm in the car, I'm at Nordstrom. I'm about to take back like maybe three or four items that I have that I don't even need. I don't think I showed y'all what I'm wearing. I'm wearing this Amazon bodysuit or skims dupe. Oh, and um, this Amazon top. Well, this Amazon top, y'all know I would love this quarter button, quarter zip, quarter whatever. So, wearing that, I'm going to get out in the car and go return this stuff because I don't need to keep this stuff. Some of this, one of the items I have for like six months. So, not six months, six weeks. I don't know, the last time we went to... Um, the last time we went to Orlando, that's when I got it. So this is my new bag. I'm carrying my new bag. I love my new bag. So let's get on out the car. I feel like I should park up front, but I don't know these girls. Girl. Let me go in the back seat. I got some seat covers for my car because the leather, it's actually warm out here. The leather.
the leather is um, turning like a different color, like blacking on the edges. So I needed to get, I needed to get um, some seat covers from Amazon. They're pretty good. They don't really fit, but they kind of match the color of my car. So Ooh, I think a press on nail is trying to pop off. It's actually warm out. It's so nice. Y'all know I like the Perimeter Mall Nordstrom. The one at Lenox is way too much. Let the Amazon driver go by. I guess I'll see y'all in a second after I get inside, see if I can do the returns at this front desk. Whoo, baby, I'm sweating, I'm hot. The way that took so freaking long in Nordstrom. Oh my God. That took so long. Girl, I'm trying to figure out what had happened. I think I walked in at, was that just 17 minutes? It couldn't have been just 17 minutes. Am I crazy? Cause I was in there for a minute, girl. House of CB, I didn't know they had like a 30 day return policy, but y'all know I buy my stuff for pickup online. So I don't go into the store. I don't go into the store and do like, I don't go into the store and shop typically because I get hot. It's too much girl. The stuff that I was doing, girl, I was stressing and hot in there. The girl, some girl sneezed. I got, girl, I started holding my breath. Like it was just a lot. <laughs> so I just don't, I don't go in store. So the young lady was like, I tried to return a dress that don't fit my big old hips. <laughs> I was trying to return a dress that didn't fit, okay? And the young lady, very, very sweet, very, very sweet girl, um, told me that um couldn't return it. She told me I couldn't return the item because it was past 30 days. I got it on December 7th and today is like the end of January. I told her I was fine with exchanging and she said, no, you can't exchange it either. And if you know, House of CB has that little ribbon, it has that little ribbon on it where like it shows whether or not you've worn it. Oh my God, there's a mosquito in my car. What is going on? Oh girl, the devil is a lie. Mm -mm. Get out. Yes. I think I got it. Uh-uh, y'all know it's too warm outside when I got a mosquito on my car. What are we talking about? What are we talking about? <laughs> it has the, my stuff had the ribbon on it. I hadn't worn it, obviously, because it doesn't fit. Obviously, who gonna walk around with the house of CB ribbon? I mean, I guess you can make it a moment. Call yourself a return, a return baddie. My stuff, I had all this stuff on it, so I wasn't even worried about it. But when she said, no, you can't exchange it, I was like, what? I said it doesn't fit. I can't do anything with it. Like, what are we talking about? And it allows me, like, since I ordered it online, I can start a return online. It doesn't stop me from starting a return. So the girl was like, um, well, you can sell it on Poshmark. Girl, no, I'm not selling it on Poshmark. I had to take a second because one thing my mama taught me and one thing I know, because I worked in retail as well, is there is no reason to get irate with people that work that work there like there's no reason to get irate because if you get upset like you really are gonna get what you want so it's better to stay patient i didn't say anything because i was gagged because i was like this girl told me to sell this dress was 200 dollars. i'm not selling a 200 dollars dress on poshmark like i'm not i don't even have a poshmark i probably should get one but i don't even have a poshmark and if i'm allowed to return it online like what a what like what's going on? I probably could have just did the return online and did a curbside. That's what I'm gonna do from now on. I'm not even going in the store because the girls, uh, girl, they be enforcing rules that don't even, need, if it was me, I wouldn't even try to enforce a rule, enforce a rule that I couldn't enforce. Like I just wouldn't do it. But maybe the girl didn't know. She seemed a little bit new. So the girl seemed new cause she made a couple of mistakes. She told me I owed $176. <laughs> after doing my returns and I had like <clears throat> $400 worth of returns 
she told me after that, like, she turned around the screen. She was like, I don't know why you owe $176, but that's what it says. She called the manager out, and her manager was like, no, that means that's how much she's getting back. If it has parentheses, that means that's what she's getting back. Baby, I was in there, like, because it just seemed like they were having a long day. Like, they seemed frustrated in there, so... Baby, I know it's hard to be new on a job, but girl, she shouldn't even show me that screen. She should have just went back. Like, if I, I worked in retail for about, ooh, how long did I work in retail? Because I worked at Guess for a long time, and I worked at Victoria's Secret. And I was mostly like a register girl at Guess. Um, well, I was doing both. But if I had an issue like that, I wouldn't even say anything. Like, if I saw that you do the math and it says that I owe $176 I wouldn't even turn the screen around and say oh they're saying you owe $176 because if you already frustrated the customer or you could have frustrated the customer I feel like it's just better to just act like you just need a manager to finish the return that's what I would have did but she seemed like she was like new to retail girl you supposed to keep it cool keep it slick and if if I see that you can start a return online Baby, I would even tell you, girl, just do the return online. Just do it online. Don't even worry about it because you, if you want your money back, just do it online. I can return these two things, but this one I can't. I wouldn't even grab the manager. All they did, I, I should have just finished it online though. I don't know why I didn't do that. Baby, I can just take this, I can turn around and take this stuff back now. But I got two pairs of pants that I really liked and a top, but I don't know if I really like the top. I may end up bringing it back. Then she asked me to try on the clothes. Ugh. And then once I grabbed grab the clothes, she had to go to the back to grab a new one because they don't sell things off the floor. They pull it from the back. I'm like, how's the CBs a lot, girl? I'm just going to order online. That's it. I don't know. But baby, I'm rolling over to the Target, which is right around the corner. Oh, baby, he was in my car. Ooh, why? Why do the men's just look all up in your car? Like, I don't like that. Like, what are you looking at? What you think my face is going to tell you? You think I'm going to tell you to come hither, sir? Like, what are we doing? <sighs> this is the reason why I don't go nowhere. Purely the reason why I don't go nowhere. This is the reason why I stay in my house. This is the reason why I, I keep it to, like, I order online. Because once I go in store and some foolishness happens, girl, I'm never going back. I'm ordering and I'm returning. I'm ordering and then I'm going to come in and return. But you can do a curbside return, and I'm here for it. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that from now on. I'm not going in no store. Because I don't want to have an attitude with somebody for no reason. They're always really nice at Nordstrom, though. Shout out to Nordstrom. <laughs> but yeah, girl. Um, so, mm -hmm. I don't know. So now I'm here at um, Target. I got a couple things to pick up, but I'm already ready to go home. Frankly, um, I'm ready to go to the house. I have some editing to do today. Possibly wanted to put up a short. Um, maybe I would put up a short another day, but I feel like... The thing about social media is that I feel like that it's getting so, like, labor-intensive. Like, you gotta show up and show out every single day for social media. It used to be like, oh, you upload three times a week at least, and you're good. But, girl, now YouTube, the girls is asking you to do three times a week, shorts, community posts, like, what are we, what's going on, Grum? Who online that much? Nobody? Let me get out of this car. I'm hungry. I wonder if, I wonder if I can get some Tab stuff. Because Tab, Tab got some stuff in here. I wonder if I can get some of her stuff. Let me see. Let me take out. I don't know. Ugh, my battery's about to die and I'm out of memory. Come on. I think I like my bag. Like, now that I'm carrying it, I do like it. Like, it's cute. And it carries everything, so. Um, Target time. I feel like I don't go anywhere else but Target. I remember somebody had said in my comments, like, you don't do anything. <laughs> well, girl, I'm 35. What do you do at 35? Party? Come here, come on. Let's be realistic here, okay? The wig, I think it's Nadula. I think it's a new doula hair wig. I'm not sure. But I guess I'll see y'all inside. We're not getting anything in the bag. I got my um, list in my GoodNotes app, so I can uh, 
I can see my full list on my um, planner. thing is pulling a cart. I really don't want to pull a cart. Girl, none of these carts want to get took. Okay. I'm going to use my list. I'm going to do my list from... I need to get my life right. Where are my phones not even charged? It's on 2%. Where am I... I don't like myself, like right now. I really don't. I should have had my life together. I need micellar water, bear with me spray, other than that. I need soap and cereal. Did I need a list for that? No. No. Ooh. Wait, don't get distracted. Soap and cereal. I'm gonna eat some ice cream. Oh, I really want some toaster. Some pop tarts. Mm -hmm. I don't need them. What else did I say? So. So. Oh, look at the tab stuff. Oh, she's got nuts, trail mix, mugs. Come on, tab. We love to see black girls do good, right? Y'all, one thing about vlogging in public, you stop caring about people looking at you, like, completely. I definitely don't care. Cute. Feel me, Cupid. I got so much stuff, there's no reason for this, it's none. Pajamas, what is going on? Like, what are we doing? No cart though, I ain't got no cart. Oh, girl, I still don't know how to close my trunk. <laughs> okay, back in the car, tired as ever. <laughs> and I'm just ready. I'm ready to get back home because, wow. Okay, what was I gonna tell y'all? I got some good stuff from Target. I got a couple of PJ things that I'm gonna go home and wash so I can wear it tonight. If I can wash them tonight. Cause I really just want to be, I've been wanting to be super cute. Going to bed, I don't wanna look a mess. So yeah, I felt so bloated in this outfit. And I don't know why I'm bloated. I don't know why. Right now it's six o'clock. I think I left home at like four or something. So I've been gone for like two hours, but I haven't even gotten, um, I haven't even gotten everything that I needed. So I don't even know why I'm waiting here. I haven't gotten everything that I needed. I still need some micellar water, but I don't feel like going to Ulta. Like I'm capped out. I thought that, um, I thought that my Nordstrom run was gonna be much quicker than it actually was. So, well that busted up my day. And it's actually hot. Like it's 60 something degrees and I got this outfit on and baby I'm sweating. So, so I'm gonna take the 15 minute drive home. So by the time I get home, I can eat. I'm so hungry. So, I will see y'all once I get home. <clears throat> I could show you what I bought. Turn on my phone. And my phone died inside the store. Like, how old am I? Like, how old am I? Whew. Okay, y'all, I'm home. Y'all can tell by the stain. I'm at the house. What a day. <laughs> my husband didn't notice that my phone died. Great. I'm going to get better at charging my phone. I probably should charge it right now. But I'm going to show y'all. This is what I was wearing. I was wearing this Amazon, like, one-piece thing. 
with this Amazon quarter button, quarter zip-ish, zip tie thing. Super cute, but I feel like bloated today. I probably need to take my, um, I need to take my, uh, Bellway. I need to take my bellway. I haven't taken it yet, but I'm going to do a haul with House of CB. I did not expect to even buy anything from House of CB because I was just going to do a return, but they told me I can only do an exchange and I feel like arguing with them people. So it's whatever. Because we live in an apartment, I always put all my groceries in one big bag. So I'm going to go ahead and put up all this stuff. Let me wash my hands first. And I need to make my lunch because it is late. It's six o'clock, which I know we eat lunch pretty late. So let me put out the salmon so that we're all set. And so I got myself some chopped chicken. It looks good on the container. Some chopped chicken from Abbott's Butcher. 14 grams of plant protein and soy free. And it doesn't have any um, ingredients that are gonna make my stomach hurt. So I think I'm gonna cook this for lunch. See how that tastes. Um, with some Baby Bella, uh, sliced mushrooms and some bell pepper. So we're gonna cook that for lunch. We'll see what that's like. Y'all know I, my stomach just likes plant-based stuff just better so i did with that i got my husband's magic spoon cereal he loves magic spoon he likes to he eats low sugar foods so i got him his magic spoon cereal oh i can't reach up there dang it can't reach i got him four boxes we used to be subscribed to magic spoon like we used to be like get these boxes six boxes every single month but now since it's at target i don't know what happened they just like canceled our subscriptions i don't know what happened to that um let's see then we got our actual stuff so i got us some oven mitts for the house because the oven mitts have... this is why it cost so much i thought this was a two pack but they were just these two were just uh like stitched together Girl, what was I even doing? But I got two oven mitts, I guess. So, good for me. Uh, for the personal things, I got these nails. These nails are the ones that are actually on my finger. Somewhat fingers, somebody asked me, what are my best, my favorite press on nails? These right here. These are the Kiss Nude Acrylic Nails. They are really, really strong. They don't bend and they look like an actual manicure. Love these. And you just press them on and the glue that's in it is perfect for me so i got my favorite soap this is the only soap i use because it's ph balanced and you know you don't want no soap that's not ph balanced near your cootie cat your cootie cat needs to be ph balanced so i think it's ph balanced isn't it why do i think it's ph balanced is this true obviously you don't wash inside of there but you wash around it and this doesn't irritate the area is vegan not vegan it's you know all that good stuff i think this is ph balance or did i just make that up i think it dries out my skin maybe but hmm. y'all know i love my nyx bear with me prime set and refresh primer spray the reason why i don't use any other primer is because i get these tiny little bumps when i use um priming spray or setting spray. I don't know what ingredient setting spray has in it that I'm allergic to, but I'm allergic to setting spray. So this is the only setting spray that doesn't break me out, doesn't irritate my skin. And I'm not willing to try anymore because they're really tiny. I think they're called like Melia, like really tiny little bumps. Like it looks like chills all over my face. So that's the only ones I use. And let's see, oh, I didn't get that much. I got this robe. <laughs> I got the robe. I've been wanting this robe from Target. Girl, I'm so like, like what is the, so bloated down there, so. Um, oh, 
this is cute. Oh, I love it. So comfortable. I love it. And, well, next I have this, just this little uh, Stars Above shorts and top set. I feel like the top is really soft and cute and the shorts are really cute. I'm trying to update my pajama wardrobe. So I'm gonna throw these in the wash. And that's it, I think. That's everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and Go ahead and fix my lunch. I'll let y'all know how it is. I would, I'm gonna do a what I eat in a day and I'm testing this out because I've been eating the same thing for a minute and I wanna see if like this new recipe will actually be good. So I'm gonna try that out. In the meantime, I'll put all this stuff up and I need to get out of this outfit. Like I look like an alien. Like what is, I can feel it down there too. I gotta, I need to drink my belly so we can get things running and going down there, so. Pull out the salmon. I don't think there's any in here. Pull out the salmon down here. And... Let's get to cooking. I need to put all my stuff up. I'm trying to be more mindful about the things that I do, but I'm like a mindless person sometimes. Anyways, let me take off these shoes. That's really disrespectful. Hopefully it's good. Let me see what it looks like. Let's see. I need to get in my house clothes. Oh, it's in like a container. How do you cook this? Saute. Oh, six to eight minutes. Perfection. It's not frozen. I need to get pre-chopped stuff, but like this is what it looks like. I'm gonna tell y'all how it tastes. I'm gonna tell you how it tastes. So let's get to cooking. I'll show y'all the end result. In the meantime, I need to plug up my phone and get my life together because y'all know I be doing too much. So okay, y'all. It's good. I tasted like just a little bit of the sauce. The bowl is so hot because I, I pre-make my rice. I love balsamati rice, but this is what it looks like. That's the vegan chicken with, um, I make my rice with seasoning in it. Like I boil the water, put salt and stuff in it. But this is what it's looking like. The bowl's not cute. It's a Tupperware bowl, but see if it's good. Get a little bit of mushroom in there. So I seasoned it with Worcestershire, onion powder, garlic powder. Let me taste it. Girl, I think it's good. It's hot though. I don't like hot food at all. Like I like my food room temp. Like I'll cook it and I'll let it sit for like 15, 20 minutes. Now the flavor is good. Hmm. But the chicken, it's a little, how come you're not focusing on me? The chicken's a little, it don't taste like chicken. But if you did this with real chicken, oh girl. The way that door scare me. But I don't mind the texture because I eat vegan meat but it's good i like it i think if you switch out your protein for like chicken or steak or even fish i think it'd be good i really love that pad thai sauce mm. Mm. i like it so i'm gonna finish my lunch my battery is about to die I'm gonna finish my lunch and I think I'm gonna try on the J-Lux label stuff I got because I wanna see if I need to return it. And obviously I need to return it like by tomorrow so I can take my stuff back. So let me eat this. I got enough left over for tomorrow. So I'm gonna eat this and then 
I'll be back to try on some clothes. Mm -hmm. I love it. Okay, so the stuff I got from House of CD, I really just want to take this stuff back because I feel like I got played. And my husband was like, nah, you shouldn't buy anything from them ever again, which is sucks because I love House of CB. But I don't know what is happening. So I got some pants. Like I've seen these pants. I think Aaliyah's face had these on. I'm not sure. Those pants. I got a brown pair. And I got... this teeny tiny little top so let me get out of this and then we're gonna try on the clothes okay y'all i found a spot okay to try on these clothes it's a cute background cute ish okay so okay so this is what i have i have the house of cb top i don't know about this top girl this top was 50 dollars. i just had to get something to like you know like exchange and i like the bottom top set that came with this, but the, they didn't have any bottoms in my size. They only had them in larges. So I couldn't get the bottom, so I got the top. And the top, I mean, it don't do nothing for my cities. It don't do nothing for them. But for the bottoms, these bottoms, oh baby, they're cute. They are cute and they fit. I love the little pockets. Girl, these are real pockets, girl. Pockets, pockets. Down to the bottom. And it's long, I got the long, um length so i can wear them with heels and it like covers my feet but what do y'all think y'all think these are cute i think they're cute and they fit my body right they fit so yes they make my booty look popping tin y'all see that Booty look good, you know? Y'all tell me what you think. Should I take the pants back? Should I keep them? Should I take the top back? Should I keep it? What y'all think? Y'all let me know down below. Because if you say take it back, I'm taking it back. Because <laughs> it don't really be doing nothing for my boobs. It's cute, but it's like a ribbed texture. But like, I could get a bodysuit. Like, I don't know what I'm, I don't know what I'm doing with this. So let's try on the black pair of pants and then we're done. We're done. <laughs> Shout out to Bondi Blue. Okay, so these are the black ones. I actually, the black ones, I think are cute, but they're a little bit bigger on me. Like, like bigger in the hip area. I don't know. Like, I don't know how I feel about the black ones. Let me show y'all. Don't they look like a little bit bigger? I mean, they still fit. But I think it's because I want them to be in like this. I think it's because they came off the floor. So maybe other people have tried these on and put their little hot boxes in <laughs> Put their little hot boxes in there and it done heated it up and spread it wide. I don't know. <laughs> but it's just like a little bit looser. I mean, they're still cute, but I don't know. They're still cute though. I don't know, how much are these? Girl, 149, one of them going back. One of them's going back. One of them's going back. I think that's gonna be it for this week's weekly vlog. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. It wasn't as eventful. Me and my husband did not do a date night. Like we did, we did a, a we call it a dry weekend where we don't drink at all. We just relax, rest, you know, no, no alcohol, none of that. We did that this weekend and we may do it again we did that last weekend and we may do it again this weekend. We may do a dry weekend. I'm not sure. I'll see how I feel. But um, sometimes it's just good to take some time off of drinking. You know, I love a drink. <laughs> I'm not going to act like I don't. And sometimes I drink too much. And as of late, I think I made a joke in the last vlog about someone saying we drink, it, we drink too much, which is funny because sometimes I think as a human being, and I'm learning this as I've gotten older, um, 
sometimes we do a little bit of too much of something. Sometimes we eat too much. Sometimes we drink too much. But, and then you just take a break. So, me and my husband do this every once in a while. We'll take a break at the same time. Or sometimes he won't drink and I'll drink. Usually, girl, I take a drink. I love to drink. So, I love a good glass of wine, a good liquor. But it is good to just to take take some time off and allow the body to rest and recover before we, you know, get back to the thing. Because we are getting back to it. So, y'all don't know this, but I didn't start drinking until I was 24 years old. I did not drink in college at all. Period. Like, not until I graduated. I think it was when I, after I graduated that I started drinking. Um, it was like, and I met my husband at 25. So, for me, girl, this is party time. I love to have a sip. And I don't even know why I'm explaining this, but you know what I'm saying. Like, I think because, oh, girl, I feel cute. I live more of a restrictive life and I'm really, really hard on myself. I feel like I need to explain and say, hey, 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 I'm not, I'm not, you know, it's okay. I don't need to explain that, but you know, that's just like the inner, what do you call this? Uh, people pleaser. That's the inner people pleaser in me, but I need to grow up. <laughs> that's what I need to do. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and start dinner. Um, it's 814. My husband's probably going to be home probably around nine so i need to get myself unready take a shower cook dinner and what else that's it i did my lashes in a different way i did them shorter and i think i like it they look less ridiculous um they look more natural yeah i need to cook dinner and then i need to edit this vlog as well and i need to bleach the knots on a wig i have so much to do it's kind of ridiculous but whatever i love you all thank you so much for watching again thank you for 80k we still celebrating baby i love y'all thank you so 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 much oh my titties falling out girl i'm acting like my titties can fall anywhere i love you all thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video Which way does it go? bye